In the years leading up to the Civil War, New Jersey was a state divided. The 1850s were a time of economic and social divisions within the state. New Jersey, despite being a northern state, held southern sympathies. Its economy, heavily reliant on trade with the South, created a complex dynamic that was unlike any other in the Union. Yet the state was not without its abolitionists. There were those who passionately believed in the cause of liberty for all, and their voices added to the growing chorus of dissent against the institution of slavery. The political tension within New Jersey was palpable, especially during the presidential elections of 1860. The state, like the nation, was split between those who favored the preservation of the Union at all costs and those who championed the rights of states. As the nation teetered on the brink of war, so too did New Jersey, a state caught between North and South. When the Civil War broke out in 1861, New Jersey found itself in a unique position. Despite being geographically nestled in the North, no battles were waged on its soil. Yet the state was far from a passive observer. New Jersey sent over 70,000 troops to fight for the Union cause, a significant contribution given its size. The state's industries also played a vital role in supporting the war effort, from ironworks producing artillery to textile mills churning out uniforms, New Jersey's industrial might was a linchpin for the Union. Politically, the state was a hotbed of tension. Despite being a Union state, there were deep divides between those who supported the Confederacy and those who stood with the Union. This internal conflict shaped the state's political landscape, influencing decisions and policy. Though untouched by the devastation of battle, New Jersey was deeply affected by the Civil War, internally divided and playing a crucial role in the Union's war effort. When the guns fell silent in 1865, New Jersey, like the rest of the nation, had to face the aftermath of the Civil War. The state was a tableau of change, a reflection of the country's tumultuous journey through one of the darkest periods in its history. New Jersey was quick to embrace change. The 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery, was ratified with fervor marking a significant shift in the social and political landscape. The state was no longer just a bystander in the fight for freedom, but an active participant in the country's journey to equality. The aftermath of the war also brought economic transformations. New Jersey rapidly industrialized, becoming a hub for manufacturing and innovation. This shift in economic focus helped the state regain its footing after years of conflict. In the wake of the Civil War, New Jersey emerged as a state transformed, its landscape and people forever marked by the nation's bloodiest conflict. The Civil War was a pivotal moment in New Jersey's history. The state was a stage for political contention and social change. In the years leading up to the war, New Jersey was a whirlwind of uncertainty and division. Yet when the war erupted, New Jersey stood firm, contributing significantly to the Union cause despite not being the battleground for any major conflicts. The war led to profound shifts in New Jersey's societal fabric. It brought an end to an era and ushered in a new one with the abolition of slavery and the dawn of Reconstruction. The state's political landscape was also forever altered, with new leaders and ideologies emerging. In the aftermath of the war, New Jersey faced the challenge of healing and rebuilding, a task that would shape its future in the years to come. The Civil War left indelible marks on New Jersey, marks that are still evident today. To see what happened in your state during the Civil War, click the playlist that's on your screen and thanks for watching.